all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and today we will be discussing the problems of bi-weekly contest 71 okay that was held last time so i would discuss all the four problems like each problem in a separate video first we will jump over the this problem minimum sum of four digit number after splitting digits it is actually this problem right same problem okay so its index is 2160 uh, yeah 2160 and it is the easy problem so like this problem must be involving some brute force or implementation type thing right okay so without wasting our time let's first understand what does this problem is going to ask so you would be given a positive integer num consisting of exactly four digits okay and uh, we have to split this num into two new integers name one and name two by using the digits found in this num okay so basically this num would be a four digit number so it can range from thousand to four times nine okay uh, if i'm not wrong constraints must be satisfying this yes so leading zeros are allowed in new one and new two like when we split these two numbers in uh, respective two digits then it can have a leading zeros and all the digits found in num must be used okay so for example 2932 so let me explain over this one so suppose you have the number n u m as uh, 2932 okay so you need to split this number into two uh, like two numbers uh, containing the two digit like it should be a two digit number it can consist of a leading zeros okay so you need not to worry about okay so there are many possibilities you can easily see like suppose i have sent 3 to this position and 9 to this position and i uh, the remaining digits would be 2 and 2 this is one of the possibilities you can also send this 2932 to the respective two numbers as like 2 and 9 and the remaining one would be it can be 2 and 3 like there are many possible ways okay so you need to consider all of them and what we have should uh, what we should print as an our answer return the minimum possible sum of this new one and new two so what would be the minimum possible sum okay when we try to split that okay so there are uh, like this is actually a greedy approach like you need you are going to do a greedy approach type of thing okay so let's consider every digits okay so you can see there are four digits let's call as dig of zero suppose there is an array that will store all the four digits so dig of one and the next would be dig of two and the next would be of dig of three okay so there will be a digit array okay of four size you can see four size that will store the digits present in this number okay the, the next thing that i'm going to do is like you need to sort all these digits note that we are applying the greedy approach so i will tell it out why we are sorting the this entire digit sort digits array okay so we will when we will sort these digits we have the digits in the form let's say d0 less than d1 less than d2 less than d3 okay now consider the case like uh, you need to find out the sum of num1 plus num2 so both will contain two digits exactly so consider the case like uh, num1 will consist of the numbers of the form c1 into 10 plus c2 right and num2 will contain the numbers of the form a1 into 10 plus a2 okay so what will be our sum when we consider the numbers in this format so when we try to find out the sum the numbers would be like uh, you can see c2 plus a2 plus c1 into 10 plus uh, a1 into 10 okay so these are the sums that i am going to get now you need to minimize that okay minimize so when we try to minimize this number like this equation you can easily see the uh, like 10 the value 10 is going to be multiplied by uh, multiplied with two digits a1 and c1 so if we want to minimize that we must put out the minimum value over there in a1 and c1 okay so we will extract the first two minimum values d0 and d1 and put over here so my new equation would become you can see c2 plus a2 
plus when we club this one you can see it will come out to be c1 plus a1 into 10 right and this is actually what c1 plus a1 this is actually the first two minimum digits if you sort the digits first okay so your answer would come out to be note that these two digits c2 and a2 is going to be d2 and d3 so your answer is d2 plus d3 plus uh, d0 plus t1 note that after sorting the array these are the values okay into 10 this is your actual answer okay so you need to find out the minimum sum and when you are trying to find out the minimum sum you will write the equation in this format and you can see that uh, the value 10 is going to be multiplied with two terms and since you are minimizing the sum you need to put out the digits in the uh, greedy approach so c1 and a1 should hold the minimum uh, value digits and the respect and the leftover digit c2 and a2 would be the maximum value digits okay so this would be your answer so let's try to implement that okay okay so what i've done is like taking the index as zero this will be actually the pointers uh, like the storing the digits so i've taken a digit size vector of size 4 you can see uh, yeah so extracting each digit and putting the digits in the this uh, dig vector okay now i am sorting this digit and uh, putting the digits at respective places okay you can see dig of 0 into 10 extracting the minimum digit and multiplying it by 10 and you can see the next minimum digit is dig of 1 and i am going to multiply it by 10 and the remaining the digits are going to add it directly okay so yeah this was one of the approach but uh, like you, when i first solved this problem what i have done is like i have considered all the possible uh, combinations that we are going to have so in that case also i have taken is like extracted the string format of this num and uh, sorted this one and considered every uh, possible case you can see like all the possible permutations and extracting the every type of substring and converting them into an integer okay and finding out the minimum so this will also pass first uh, but yeah this is the best solution that i am going to refer to you okay so if you guys have still any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video